Hey guys, and welcome back to Vlogging Frogs. My name's Ryan Peterson, for those of you who don't know, and today we're just in my backyard chilling with this little friend. Ready to go. He's up there, look at him. Uh, this is the house centipede. They're very common in your house, and although they may look terrifying, they're probably less frightening to you than spiders, and they eat spiders. So let's go learn about these actually helpful critters that are kind of cool. Now, although these cuties may look scary, they can only get about an inch and a half to two inches in length, so not the scariest. Now, the world's largest centipede is the Amazonian giant centipede. This big critter can grow to be over a foot in length, but don't you worry, you're safe from me showing you them. For now. <laughs> okay. Anyways, an adult house centipede has 15 pairs of legs. They are generally dark brown or yellow or tan. They have three black dorsal stripes running down their back. They also have black stripes on their legs. So a real zebra of centipedes. They have a modified pair of those legs right below their mouths that are used as little pincers. They use these to inject venom into their prey or predators if needed. Now, the last pair of legs at their bottom end actually are designed to resemble the antennae, which as you can see, he points his butt towards his prey and keeps his head low. So if I did try to eat this critter, he could drop those legs, and yes, I mean drop them, and run away. They are capable of losing all of their legs. Now back to that venom they use. Now, it is harmless to humans. It'll be less than a bee sting if you do get bit, but that's not often. And I have never, so unless you have an allergic reaction, you're pretty safe. But if you have the allergic reaction part, you're very, very, very much in trouble. Otherwise, the only thing that has to fear the venom is its prey, which actually is why they are so beneficial to have around the house. They love to eat things like ticks and bed bugs and cockroaches and yeah, even spiders. They take down really anything that they can catch in your house. So maybe they're just trying to pay their rent. I mean, who knows? It's not a bad roommate to have for their three to seven years lifespan and you barely see them. They are super sneaky and they don't damage furniture or food in your house. So yeah. Now, let's move on. They were native to the Mediterranean area, but have since traveled all over the place and can be found virtually anywhere. They love dark, cool, and damp places to hide, like leaf litter, under rocks and logs, and of course, in your home. They start as a little egg, and then they hatch with only four pairs of legs. Then they molt, and they molt, and they molt again, and they grow new legs as they molt. They go through roughly six molts until they become the big bad adult. Then they have all their legs. And then, they find a mate and they start the process all over again. So we hope you enjoyed this little lesson. I have played with many of these my entire life and I just recently started to learn about them and it was well worth it because now I know a whole lot more about my favorite roommate or roommates. <laughs> Bye guys, love you all. <laughs> you better look under your pillow tonight.